welcome to webinar one. And she said, sometimes people keep things bottled up inside and they don't realize what it's costing them until it's too late. And their body gives them a warning sign that maybe they aren't coping so well. You know you don't actually have to wear the mask in here. Oh, I think I've just gotten used to it. Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm not criticizing, I'm, uh, I'm just saying. What are you reading? I'm just reading about the bit of GA that is happening. It's the only thing worth reading about. Yeah, I know what you mean. As a manager in the business, I've learned a lot about people. But I've learned an awful lot more in the last few months. What is Connor concerned about? How are his team adapting to new ways of working? Can I ask what part of the business you're from? I'm a HR manager. HR. I can't imagine some of the difficulties you've faced over the last few months. Before this all kicked off, we used to see our manager every single day. And the regional manager, every couple of weeks. We haven't seen them for months now, but it doesn't seem to have made any difference to our output, our safety, or anything else. Don't get me wrong, no, they're, they're nice enough people, but it makes you realise there's a new definition of working class. The real working class can't work from home. They're the ones out there taking the risks while other people stay safe and have a nice lie-in and pretend that a Zoom meeting is actually you consider being informed and selective about information, focusing on what you can change for the better, giving others opportunities to share and talk, asking for support from a friend, a colleague or your manager. That brings our dramatisation to a close.